Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Cars. Today we're going to go over this 1976 Lincoln Mark IV Lipstick Edition, which is a very, very rare car, especially with the red exterior. However, I regret to inform you that it will not be available on Bring a Trailer. That was my intention, but I had a very good customer that's already bought one Lincoln from me uh, that saw this car in a video that we did, um, the video they have on YouTube, this is the Cars 1976, Bicentennial Cars of 1976. And as soon as he saw it, he called me right away and said, Bill, I want that car. Believe it or not, he was actually in the process of buying another one just like it over in England. That's how hard this car is to find. This gentleman was willing to go to England to buy this exact car. Uh, it was a very comparably, comparable car, extremely nice like this one. Um, but just, you know, getting one from over and overseas is very difficult to do. But I, do, I did want to share this car with you because I know a lot of you guys like these cars. It is a rare car. And, I want to, and I'm doing this for my client as well. His name is Bill also. So I want him to see this video. Uh, he's already seen pictures of it, but this is a near flawless car. It does have 12,900 miles on it. Um, we went around and did a paint correction. There was a handful of tiny stone chips and I literally have to stare at the paint to even remember where they were at. So they're very, very minimal. There's a couple little minor nicks, a little tiny scratch here or there that was so minimal that if, if, if I even found them again, you'd, you'd have a hard time seeing them. Very, very minimal. Engine bay was near flawless. We did very little to the engine bay. Normally I have to do an engine bay restoration. This car did not need that. Original hood mat. And we'll, we're just gonna go around, we'll do the engine bay, the interior trunk, and then we'll go ahead and do a uh, exterior walk around in just a moment as well. So the story with this car is that um, it was owned by the first owner from 1976 up until about, I wanna say 2019 or 20. And the only other people that had their hands on this car were a couple of uh, collectors that were dealers. So it wasn't, you know, passed around to individuals or any other collections. It was kind of just enjoyed by enthusiasts like myself. Pretty good documentation, some good things that come with the car. They apparently were a big Elvis fan, so there's a whole suitcase of Elvis 8 tracks, which I will let go with the car. It's going to Bill. Um, you've got the owner's manual, the owner's card, that matches the name on the dash. Uh, the plaque on the dash shows who, owned, who bought it new. It says it's a lipstick edition. You got a color PPG color, car, color chart, a Lincoln um, little magazine, the uh, sales brochure, some magazine articles. This is pretty cool. So when you're in the car business, the new car dealers will send you a book on information on the car that you're selling and I guess sales tips and whatnot and comparison. So this is pretty cool. It's probably worth some money if you had to go find one on eBay. So that goes with the car. Uh, original list with options and things. The warranty booklet, the sunroof. Full size spare is a matching spare as well. Now the inside of this car is also very amazing. Super clean, very original. You know, we did our typical, these door jams, like every car I've got, I don't care how low the miles, these get scuffed up or nicked up. So we touched that up and cleaned it up the best we could. Very minimal. If you open the door, it's not noticeable. You have to get down on your hands and knees and stare at it to see it's been touched. The leather is beautiful. The car still smells new. Look at that. Look at the seats. The carpets. It's got a very full plush carpet in it. The two-tone white and red is just beautiful. And if you look on the dash, it says, literally says on the dash, built especially for Byron R. Cooper. 76 lips, lipstick edition and that that came from the factory another fe uh, cool feature that this car has that some of them don't have uh, you see the glove box is clean trunk release on the inside is the locking hood release so we'll go around the passenger or driver side so there's a lock hood release so you can lock your yeah we'll go over that too well let's while we're going about here if you look at this big red cable this car has two alternators this has a heated front windshield and a heated rear windshield not your typical rear defroster the actual windshields heat on this car which for its day in 1976 was a pretty tricked out little feature so that's 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 something that some of these don't have sunroofs or something that are uh, another option that a lot of these cars don't have it has a lumbar and i'm not sure if it exactly works but there's a, a button here on the side for lump i can imagine the car's got to be started but and a lumbar support, and then if you look under there, that lock for your hood latch, you can lock it so it's going to be done your hood. And also, it has the factory. This is pretty cool. This is all still intact. 
unleaded gas fuel only, and then the factory Motorcraft locking gas cap, which I think the same key works the gas cap and the and the uh, the hood latch. So look up on um, under the doors there how clean and pristine everything is. I mean, you know, just much like the blue diamond car, this is just about like going back to 1976 and getting almost a brand new lipstick edition Mark IV. Um, so like I said, I mean, it's extremely clean, extremely pristine, uh, some really neat features on it and, and options. So we'll wrap this video up and we'll do the exterior and go around the outside of the car. And uh, uh, again, doing this for our YouTube channel as well as my customer that is buying this car. Thanks guys. Appreciate